surgeon. Perfect. God, I must have wanted you to see my flaws and find me repulsive. Shit! I don't find you repulsive. I just said we could do something about your stretch marks. Eight months of meetings. My life was finally under control. <laughs> under whose control? The anonymous sex crazed sycophants who meet once a week to group think their way out of desperation? Well, Doctor, I would not expect you to believe in a higher power. You already think you're God. Here. What the hell is that? Cap fair. You're throwing me out? I really do have surgery in four hours. If I don't get some sleep, I could wind up scarring someone for life. What, and you're not scarring me for life? No, forget it. I am not leaving. I have too much self-respect for that. That's it. Come on. What? Come on! Time to 12-step your way out of here. You are a narcissistic bastard! You know that? Hey, you want the wisdom to know the difference between what you can and can't change? Here's step 13. Everything disappears. Love, trees, rocks, steel, plastic, human beings. None of us get out alive. Now, you can huddle in a group and face it one day at a time, or you can be grateful that when your body rubs against somebody else's, it explodes with enough pleasure to make you forget even for a minute that you're only a walking pile of ashes. Now, that is the truth. If you're strong, it'll make you free. If you're weak, it'll make you... you. You still got my number, right? 